Hi guys, hope you're well. Uh, this is a tutorial on painting faces for miniatures. Uh, a couple of people have asked me how we're doing the faces, so I thought I'd just make a quick video, throw it together, chuck it on here, and uh, yeah, just do a quick video. I mean, these aren't going to win you a golden demon or anything, but I think they look good on the table, and that's good enough for me. So, here we go. I always start from the white primer. Uh, sometimes it's the miniatures primed in black or grey. I'll actually paint the face white. Uh, you'll see why in a few minutes, but it just works for me. I'm going to start by painting a very thin coat of bleach bone over all the facial areas. Uh, I'm going to do about a 50 50 mix with water. This, this will help sink into the crevices and let all the top parts remain in the light shade. Next, I'm going to do another 50 50 mix with burning brown and paint this all over the hair area. So there's how it looks so far. I mean it's not great right now, but I feel all miniatures when they're just base coat if you start to look a bit plain and plastic. Then it's a coat of whatever your arm or colour will be. I'm using Eshin Grey because uh, these are going to be space walls, so I'm just going to paint it all around the colour in the neck. So that's all the base coating done. Now let's crack on with a little detail work. I'm going to go all over the flesh parts with a watered down wash of bulked in flesh. The more water you add at this point, the paler the actual complexion is going to look. Here you can still see a little bit of the wash pooling just on both sides of his head. You can get rid of it by putting the brush in water and just gently brushing the pooled areas. This will push the wash to the edges so I can leave it on the surface. The next wash is Adrax Earthshade. This is going to go on straight from the pot all over the hair areas. Here I'm going to put null oil in all the deepest facial recesses, the eyes, the mouth, etc.
Once that I've tried to put another coat in just to make it a little bit more predominant. I've also used the same wash on his armour, on his hair, using a little water just to blend the hairline into the tops. quick brush of white on his teeth should do it. And now as you can see, this flow is starting to come together. I'm going to put in a little bit more black just around the base of his head just to make it a bit more predominant. I'm also going to put a bit of bow red on his bottom lip and his tongue just to give it a bit of colour. I'm also going to put a black wash over his teeth, just so that they're not Hollywood white teeth. Oh, okay, toothpaste, you know. And that's pretty much it, but what these are going on, they're going to need a little snow effect. So I'm just going to put a little bit of the snow effect on the hair, on the top, and anywhere where you think the snow might settle in general. Just give it a few minutes to dry, and there you go. This is the blue Peter pan, so here's one of the tied earlier. This one simply joins the other one. Then we need to cut them off the toothpaste. I like to use toothpaste just because it means my fingers aren't getting in the way when I'm taking the smaller components. Then 
is quite simply do your head onto your body. Well, I hope you've enjoyed the video. Hope that it's been educational, if not inspirational. Anyway, here's where these guys are headed. Just a little something to paint it up for eBay. Should be lifted over the next couple of days. There's a squad of wolf marines going along with it as well. So please, like if you've liked it. Subscribe if you'd like to see the next one. And don't forget to put a comment on if you'd like me to do a specific tutorial on anything. Anyhow, thanks for watching. See you again.